a young man with a vision to end injustice in his country, a vision that prompts him to run for office in an election. Softy is a documentary that highlights the challenges of Boniface Mwangi in his quest to join politics. Here now is the review of the film Softy in our weekly segment, Cinemas and Theatre. That's what is. Please tell him to get a better job. Softy is a documentary film that follows the life of Boniface Mwangi, who has long fought injustices in his country as a political activist. <laughs> Daring and audacious and recognized as a provocative photojournalist in Kenya, he decides to run for office. My heart is made up that I'm going to fight. <laughs> But I'm gonna change my mind. <laughs> but as a father of three young children, the this qualities great tremendous turmoil between him and his wife Njeri. This is how you're telling it. <laughs> <laughs> when he wants to run for political office, he is forced to choose between his country and family. Softy is the story that photo that follows photojournalist. Um, Boniface Mwangi, um, going through his journey and how he became an activist. And while you're seeing this journey, you're also looking at how it affects his family, his wife and kids, and also how our country, a reflection of our country and kind of the story of what, hap what has happened in Kenya over the last 10 or so years. Directed and produced by Samsoko, through his company LBX Africa in collaboration with We Are Not The Machine Limited and I Still Film, the story is set against a backdrop of historical injustices which have been used to fester hate between people who generally share similar cultures. The thing that we wanted to show and express is the reflection of the consequence of not only our choices but choices our leaders make and choices that our past has brought us to, from colonialism to what we're experiencing right now. Why do we find anger and animosity in our tribal spaces, especially when it comes to elections? The team achieved early success by winning audience award for best speech at Hot Dogs Forum in 2018 and co-production with POV for US Public Broadcast. Some noted that it took them two years to turn 800 hours of footage into a 96-minute feature documentary. Around 2013, and then we kept filming for five years. In total, maybe five into six years. And then it took us two years to edit. With filming coming with its different challenges, especially in funding, some noted that the Kenya Film Commission, as well as DocuBox Film Fund, really played a part in funding for the film. Particularly in the Kenyan space, we have people say like DocuBox. I think KFC has also started giving support um, to produ local productions and local um, storytellers and filmmakers. The beauty of it is we have someone home here who acknowledges the importance of the work we do and provides, can back up that acknowledgement, can actually give you money to, to help in a particular way. Activist Boneface Mwangi receiving death threats that for the first time target his wife and children as well. I'd say the most quickest way to access the film is, um, first you can go to our website, um, softythefilm.com. Um, or you can go to a production company's website, lbxafrica.com. Um, but we're also going to be available on Showmax for uh, a decent amount of time. So the first that you get in elected is to have a voter's card. From the moment Softy decides to run for office, he responds to each challenge with optimism. But should the country really come before family as he always believed? MP, 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 MP. <laughs> Jacqueline Masharia for Cinemas and Theatre.